hard to say goodbye, my son. But this waiting can last forever. Sooner or later, the sun will set. Ending this time together. I wish that I had one more chance to say I love you one more time. And even though I know I can't. I say it in heaven. I say it in heaven. The only thing that hurts more than losing you are all of the years living without you. I wanna run back to you and show you the lie. I live without you. It's living without you is the only thing that hurts more than you. I see a picture of a little child standing alone, wondering where you are. I can't believe that this child has grown sometimes so alone. I wish that I had one more chance to say I love you one more time, and even though I know I can't. Say you in heaven. I say it in heaven. The only thing that hurts more than losing you are all of the years of living without you. I wanna run back to you and show you the life I live without you. 'Cause living without you is the only thing that hurts more than you. Living without you is the only thing that hurts more than you. The only thing that hurts more than losing you are all of the years of living without you. Friends, uh, I just thought uh, that I'll share this song with you. It's a song "See You in Heaven" by a wonderful gospel band called Guardian. It really ministered to me, and so I thought I'll share it with you. Uh, this is uh, July the eighth, a very special day in our family's life, because on this very day, about 11 years back, my little baby boy. Called Benjamin Nathan Edward, whom we affectionately call as Benny, he went to be with the Lord on that day. And during that time, our family went through a lot of pain and sorrow because of the loss of this little baby. But what I want to share with you this morning is it's found in Second Corinthians chapter one and verse three. which says that he is the god of all comfort he is the father of compassion i want to tell you beloved even as we were going through that loss every time we went into the presence of god the healing of god flowed into our lives and during the time one of those times when i was worshiping along with my brother and a few missionaries That's when I saw the vision of Jesus Christ with all the wounds in his body with all the blood flowing down through his body and I also saw my little boy in that vision asking me daddy why are you crying meaning to say that I am without pain I am without sorrow 
why are you crying i am in a better place and when i saw that picture when i saw the vision of jesus christ on the cross and my son asking me the question why are you crying a great healing came into my life and i want to tell you friends there is healing in the presence of god maybe you're going through a difficult time maybe you've lost a loved one during this covid lockdown maybe your husband has left you and gone away maybe people have turned their back on you you lost a very dear friend or a loved one i want to tell you there is comfort there is healing in the presence of god if you would just come to jesus today and say lord i come to you just as i am lord heal that hurt lord forgive my sins give me a new life you know beloved the place where real healing can take place is when a person comes in humility humility to jesus and surrender his life to jesus saying lord i repent of my sins lord forgive me cleanse me with your blood i receive you as my only god and savior that is when real healing takes place because jesus the healer comes into your life i want to tell you beloved god loves you too much that's why he gave his only son jesus to die on the cross for your sins and my sins and he didn't stay in the grave he's alive today and that's why we have hope and today come to him with all your hurts come to him with all your sins come to him with all your mess ups with your problems with your addictions he will set you free and today right now i'm going to say a very simple prayer a prayer of surrendering your life to jesus when you do that you can experience the forgiveness of sins and the healing which jesus gives right now i'm going to say that prayer and those of you who like to join me in this prayer please say this prayer after me heavenly father i truly repent of all my sins and false worships lord jesus please wash me with your precious blood i receive you as my only god and my only savior lord jesus my spirit my soul and my body i give to you take control over my life in jesus name i pray amen i want to pray a small prayer for healing in your life heavenly father i pray for those who are in pain who are in tears who are going through a loss in their life oh lord we pray that the healing fountain that was opened on the cross of calvary will flow into every heart that you would heal their hurts oh father you are near to the broken hearted heal them oh father let your presence fill them right now in the mighty name of jesus i speak healing and wholeness bless your people with your peace in jesus name i pray amen god bless you